Elsa is an all-in champion and with his crowd control we'll have some nasty ultimates level 6. We probably don't need anti-shield. We're actually against Zeri, maybe. Ah, oh, that's an interesting thought, actually. This flowchart tells you which Misfortune build is the best for each matchup. Not sure why Alistar wants to be here in the first place. I mean, Yumi is quite weak level 1, but Alistar is not even a champion level 1. He needs his combo. Yeah, I'm happy just pushing, really. Get these minions. And hello, fellow misfortunates over on YouTube as well. Live streaming on Twitch right now, link in the description, so check that out in the future. And uh, if this Zeri is good, then she's quite threatening because Zeri is a champion with huge skill expression. But let's just hope she's not. <laughs> I'd really like to win. I mean, I can probably still beat her. Misfortune is so simple yet so effective. Okay, they're level 1 still. We can't really deny that. Okay, I just denied myself a minion. Still got damage. Now we heal back up with Alistar's passive. Oh, come on. Missing minions left and right. Alright. Guess we die. Yeah, Alistar overstepping. Just got the kind of minion experience, at least. Yeah, he's very trigger-happy with his engages, even when it doesn't make sense. It's kind of bad for me. Okay, level 3. Alistar's still level 2, though. Okay, that Wukong guy might actually go somewhere. That's still level 2. Okay, he's just dead again, I guess. Or no, they don't dare to chase because of Wukong. Alright. We're alive. Now we push this. Missed every single minion in the book, but at least it's under tower. That's what matters. And I get my serrated dark, which is very important. Yeah, against them I'll just go Umbral Wave. It's a super strong item in every situation. And it, this is not a team that screams healing, uh, not healing, that screams shielding. So, um, yeah, I'm fine. <sighs> okay. Yeah, Umber Glaive, Immortal Shield Bell, looks good. Yeah, I shouldn't have attacked them, I mean, I just lost it for no reason, because I can't walk up. 1v2. Let's thin out this wave. Lose more minions. Okay, now that Alistar's here again, I hopefully can farm. damage.
Yeah, mid lane missing means we need to be very careful. They might be on dragon, true. Okay, Vladimir is back. <clears throat> Alright, at least now I'm keeping up in farm. It's something. Elsa's getting so low. Tank supports with low HP are kind of worthless because they need their HP as a resource to go in. Faze's combo knocks them out of... Oh my goodness. Well, today is not my lucky day when it comes to supports. Can we keep going? Vladimir's behind us. Probably can't. Fisty flashed for this. But yeah, this Elsa is literally inting. There's a diamond one lobby. You shouldn't be failing Alistar combos in gold. Let's be honest, Elo doesn't matter. You shouldn't be failing Alistar combos if you have played the champion more than twice. Yeah, I can't push this if no mana. Okay, Elsa wants to push this, sure. If you insist. Will take a while, and the way's probably frozen. Yeah, Yumi will hold it, but I have to base now. No choice uh, no choice but to base. Okay. Umber Glaive ready. Giga broken item. And yeah, we don't need as much attack speed as other builds because we have the 15 ability haste here. <clears throat> so it's essentially like the mana immune build, but with Umber Glaive instead of mana immune. Slightly worse scaling, more utility. Better early game. And 1v2. Yo, they're taking damage. That's not good for them. Yeah, that's exactly what we want the early fallacy. So these ults kill. Leave no survivors. I mean, what can happen? Alistar has PL. Mana, but it's fine. Kind of missed my back timing, but we get dragon for it, so it could be worse.
Yeah, I'll die here. I just wanted to make sure Zeri doesn't live. Wukong should have came uh, instantly, of course, but I mean, it is what it is. I'll wait for Dagger, though. Five seconds. Where's Oriana heading now? Is she going... Okay, she's going top lane, that's good. And we can cover mid lane and then we can rotate back. Problematic. We can kill them still. Yeah, no problem. Exactly where you want the early lethality. So much damage. Okay, now we can take some playthings. Okay, and also the utility from Umbra Glaive is just crazy, of course. Yeah, now we have Mythic. Two full items. Zeri has one. Yeah, one item versus two. Really, really good for us. Of course, the fact you don't spend money on boots also goes a long way. Let's check for wards. Never mind. Okay, Elsa's coming. We have life steal too. I mean, we're quite safe here. And they can't even establish vision control. They're missing. They might try to ambush me, actually. Okay, I see them. Get him. Careful. Good. Drake in 20. Yeah, we can pressure the tower a little bit before Drake spawns. The yeah, Umbra Glaive first. It's unironically strong. Better than Collector for sure. The item is cheaper, it has cooldown reduction, and it has this broken ward passive. Oh, 
I got hits. Careful. Yeah, don't chase too much. We have no reason. The objective is here. The dragon. Yeah, we can take Midland Tower, it's very valuable. Hmm. I can't find a window to base. Hopefully after this wave. I mean, at this point, I'm so close to finishing Lord Dom's, might as well just farm. With a huge power spike. Yeah, it's one more camp. Or I just ult this wave and then recall, it's also an option. Don't want to give him the tower. I exhausted him so he would come to the fight exhausted. Maybe that helped. Okay. Fix the wave and now I can finally get that recall off. Absolutely huge. Wait for some mana. Yeah, next item, Infinity Edge, for sure. I'm so obscenely strong. I just need to be there. And they're all weakens. Why is that pool? I got collapsed on. Ah, oh, my team couldn't do anything. That was stupid. I shouldn't. I greeted for the lawyer of Vladimir, fully knowing that it might be possible his pool is not on cooldown. Yeah, my bad. My whole team died, so that's barren for them. <clears throat> concerning. Quite concerning indeed. Oh, Ariana, why do you do that? <sighs> she literally can't do anything there except die, and she chooses to do that exactly that. I mean, mistakes happen, as you know. Yeah, we lose outer towers, definitely. Can't defend them against Baron Buff, they're too easy to dive as well. Where am I pathing? This one's gone anyway. in one minute. Careful. <sighs> no communication between them. I 
I'll take it. Nice, clean ace. Just as dragon spawns too. Perfect. Okay, since they're all dead, I can just push. We don't need multiple people on dragon. Still all dead. We can we can get another tower here. Yeah, we just disengage, buy items, regroup. Wait, dragon is not killed yet. It's crazy. That took forever. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. We got a lot, though. 340 attack damage, good lethality and armor pen. I mean, this, these 10 points of lethality are more valuable because of the percent pen from Lord Arms, because of how the math works out. So that's a, quite a nice synergy. Even though we're not fully committing to the lethality idea. Just one lethality item for the early game, that's still useful late game. And then we, as you see, go for full crits. Maybe we can help? I almost died. <laughs> 2v5, 2v4. It's crazy. Not okay. Got a life still back up. We're pushing top lane past river. Okay, yeah, looking good. Tower should fall. Yeah, they don't have the people here. I have enough for Infinity Edge. I wouldn't mind just... Okay, that ward just expired. But I know this isn't warded, so I can safely recall. Right now, I would need to back off if I didn't know this was not worth it. Because I couldn't risk ever. Okay. Next item, Bloodthirster, I'd say. And then sell boots for Essence Reaver. Wards here. Just making sure. Getting flanked. Careful. I better walk this way. I don't want to walk through a choke point. Baron spawns. Drake spawns in 1 minute 20. All of this is not worth it. I wish I could let my team know so they don't have to waste sweepers. I 
massive ultimates. Yeah, Jax just into that away by being not with his team. The team can do Baron, I can stop Jax. No, I can't stop Jax, he just dives me, doesn't he? Doesn't he just dive me? Pretty sure he does. Yep, even with Nar, even with Exhaust, he still dives me. Crazy. Even with shield though. Even with flash, with everything. Still dives. Should have known better. Really should have. Shouldn't have been there in the first place. Should have just let him. Should have given him an inhibitor if I had to. Just don't be there. It's the only solution. Twenty wards killed. Crazy vision score, almost as high as my supports. Nice, good starts. If only I hadn't suicided into Jax, I, it would have been so impactful in this fight. No, oh, no. Almost there. Okay, I, I mean, yeah, my team just dies. I couldn't dare walk closer. I need to try and live now. So they don't get inhibitors. Okay. And Baron buff still active in Orianna. It's actually quite nice. All right, how much gold do I need? I think uh, 2.1k or something crazy. Yeah, exactly. Got a farm. 400 AD though. Gathering Storm will trigger again after 10 seconds. Yeah, 420. goes away. I mean, at least he couldn't kill us through exhausts, unlike Jax, who definitely can. Okay. As long as we don't get stunned, we kill him. Even through all this armor. I've got shield already, we can probably end. <laughs> this Elsa's failing every single combo, huh? I mean, it's over, GG. Yeah, S plus. Not most damage though, yeah, Wukong also played this really well. Jax, a huge threat. But um, yeah, I, re I really like Umbra Glaive into these items. It's, uh, it's actually a very streamlined build. The more I think about it, maybe it's always better than these Serpent's Fang shenanigans. But yeah, let me know what you think about this all-in build, and if you want to see the other lanes, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.